In this video, I'm going to show you how contour segments works. This particular example, I'm going to show you how you can set contour segments based on a boundary. As you can see here in this example, we already have a boundary set for this particular field. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll go to our Vario Guide, Vario Guide Main Menu, we'll go to Field Settings, we'll go into Add a Wayline. Right off the bat, our contour segments is currently highlighted. Now, just to note, contour segments is an option on tractors. Um, it is applicable on tractors that have Trimble or Novotel receivers. If you have a Topcon receiver, it is not possible to have contour segments. If you don't have it and you'd like to add the option, you can talk to your dealer and he can help uh, get you set up. Anyways, we'll go ahead now and we'll select our check mark. So here we have our different methods of creating a contour uh, segment. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick contour segments calculation from our boundary since we've already created a boundary. So we'll go ahead and hit our check mark. Now up here at the very top we have some input here. We can create how many segments do we want. So in this case you can see that it's already kind of picked certain spots here to uh, define where, where it's going to have a way line. So we can actually change that. So if we go ahead and click on that box we can change it in this particular case to five different way lines. Because if we look back at our boundary, we have you know, essentially five square lines. Or if your field was perfectly square, you would have four. If your field is sort of curvy and has lots of different angles to it, you could have lots of different segments possible. So in this case, we'll go ahead and we'll actually go to the maximum. So we'll set this to, to five and we'll hit our check mark. So now you can see all the different segments that it's going to create. We'll go ahead now and we'll hit our check mark. Here we'll go ahead and we'll save this. So what these icons mean is this one on the left side, it means that you can save this way line and use it right away. This one here means you can save it and not use it right now. And this one here cancels what we're doing. So we'll go ahead and we'll save and use. Now it brings them up here. So now what you'll notice, what will happen is, depending on where the tractor is in the field and depending on what angle the tractor is pointing, it will automatically pick what way line is best. So if I go ahead and I hit my full screen mode, you can see that happen here. So I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what happens. Okay, so now you'll see as I approach this side of the field, if I change the angle of the tractor, it'll automatically jump way lines for me. So as I turn this direction, you'll see now it's picked the angle of the, the left corner, but now as I turn even sharper, it's now changed to the left-hand side of the field way line. Now as I turn this direction, it'll automatically adjust me to the way line that's on that side of the field. Again, as I turn again, See, it'll automatically change way lines again. So it tries to optimize what way line that you're going to use. Now, it's probably in a real world situation, probably five way lines for one field is probably excessive. Maybe you only want to use two. You want to use a, a north south line and an east west line that's based off of your boundary. So, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go over here to our contour segments assistant, and here we can define. A specific segment that we want. So if we wanted to use, uh, right now you can see which one it's selected because it's brown. If I select the next one it shows me that the changes as I scroll through these. So let's say in this particular case we wanted to use only number five and number four. We wanted to use these two. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will delete number three. We'll delete number two we'll delete number one. Okay, so now you see we're just left with two segments, the ones that we wanted, number one and number two. So now we'll go ahead and we'll hit the check mark. We'll hit the check mark again. And now, as I change my angles here, it automatically changes way lines for me. So again, as I turn to the right, automatically switches to the next line going that direction. <clears throat> okay. 
Now let's go one step further and let's say that we didn't want to use any of them. We wanted to lock ourselves on one specific line. So what we'll do now is we'll go into our conventional mode. We'll go back up here to our contour segments assistant. We'll go in here into our segment selection and we'll pick which one we want. So again, we can visualize that by tapping on the line. The line on the right here turns brown. So let's say we wanted that one, which is contour segments number one. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the check mark. Now down here, it says use only segment. We'll go ahead and we'll enable this feature right here. And we'll hit our check mark. So now we are locked on segment number one. You see here, no matter what direction I travel, I'll just do a big circle here so you can see this. It stays only on segment number one. So you can change that on the fly if you wanted to. Say you got into a specific spot in the field where you did not want contour segments automatically changing from one side or from one line to the other for you. You simply come up here to a contour segments assistant Select in here, determine which line that you want, and enable this icon right here. Now let's say we traveled back to the other side of the field and we do want those uh, two segments to be active. We'll just shut this switch off, go back to our check mark, and now we're back to having both lines active. Again, as I turn here to the right, you'll see it grab this other line. There you go. Now one more neat feature with contour segments is I'm going to show you how to stitch lines together. So in this field here, we still have our two way lines that are active. So I'll show you how to do that. So we'll go to our contour segments assistant. We'll go up here and we'll load our segments. Down here we have this icon right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the check mark. And what that's going to do is it's going to take those two lines and it's going to stitch them together and make one line of the, out of them. So I'll go, ahead and I'll go ahead and I'll hit the check mark. And you'll see what happened. Now it's taken my north south line and my east west line and it's joined them together with a sharp little radius. And I'll go ahead and I'll hit the check mark again. So the message here pops up. We'll just uh, acknowledge that. It's telling us we don't have any nudges applied. Okay, now you can see that new line, it's joined them together. So let's see what that looks like in, in the field. So we'll go ahead and hit our check mark. Hit our check mark again. Okay, now you can see that right here. It's taken our north-south line and our east-west line and it's joined them together. So let's see what happens when I actually guide on this. Now keep in mind that this is just a simple contour segment that we've taken two lines and we've joined them together. You can make this as complex as you want to. You can take a, a whole bunch of lines, put them together, and um, can steer you all around the field. So auto steer is enabled, no input in the steering wheel. Nice corner has taken place on its own. Contour segments is a pretty powerful tool. That's just an introduction into it. Um, shows you briefly how to use it. And uh, you can play with it from here and you can create as complex a lines as that you want. It's um, kind of, the, the sky is the limit really with contour segments. Hopefully that helps.